Ireland, your destination to continue your education. You have made the right choice. All Irish universities are ranked in the top 3% of the institutions worldwide, with many research fields in the top 1%. Watch this video to know everything about Ireland student visa. Hi, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library team. This channel gives visa information about your travel destinations and the appropriate way to emigrate. In this video, you'll learn how to apply for an Ireland student visa. Before we get started, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. I also have a bonus for you. Stay with us till the end so you'll get it. Alright then, let me ask you a question. Where are you from? The European countries do not need an Ireland student visa. They just need to register with the Irish officials. But the non-EU nationals need to apply for a visa. How? Keep watching. First, you have to apply to an Irish college or university or education center. What Irish university do you want to apply for? Trinity College Dublin, the National University of Ireland, Dublin City University. These are the most famous ones. Visit the university's website, find the program you want to apply for, and see the list of requirements, such as language proficiency requirement, IELTS or TOEFL, transcripts, bachelor or master certificate, sample of your writing, a study plan or SOP. After receiving admission, the university sends you an acceptance letter. The admission letter needs to confirm these items. 1. Your acceptance and enrollment in a full-time course. 2. Details of the course. 3. The amount of your tuition. 4. Medical insurance status. Now you can apply for an Ireland student visa. At this stage, complete the online application form on AVATS website. Don't rush to Google it. You can get the link from the description box. Complete it as instructions to reach the summary form page. Remember, you need to print, date, and sign the summary form and submit it with other supporting documents. The form will tell you how to submit your supporting documents and where to submit them. What are the supporting documents? Here is a list. Number one is the summary application form, as I explained before. You need to print it after completing the online application form. Number two is application letter. Explain the reason for visiting Ireland. You also commit in the letter to 1. Obey the conditions of your visa. 2. Not rely on public services while staying in Ireland. 3. Leave Ireland before your immigration permission expires. Number 3 is photo. Submit two colored passport sized photo not older than 6 months ago. Number four is your passport. Your current passport with enough validity and a copy of previous passports is needed. Number five, documentation for educational gap. Is there a gap between your last period of full-time education and the time of your application to study in Ireland? What have you been doing at that time? Provide proof. Employment history or academic background can fill the gap. Number six is evidence of tuition payment. Submit a copy of the electronic transfer of funds ETF to the Irish bank of the college or university. It must include your name, address, bank details. Number seven is language proficiency test. Submit the result of the English language proficiency test if the course is provided in English. If the course is in Irish, you need a TEG certificate. Number eight is financial independence. Submit evidence that you can pay the cost of your studies without relying on public funds or employment in Ireland. Bank statements or bank balance could prove it. Number nine is private medical insurance. The university often covers it for you. If so, they must mention it in the admission letter. If not, arrange it yourself. Number 10 is previous visa refusal. If you have applied for a visa to any country and have been refused, submit the refusal letter. If not, your application will get rejected. Remember that the Irish officials have access to a large database. You would better be honest with your application. Number 11 is your birth certificate and marriage certificate in case you're married. 
Number 12 is the accommodation proof. Make it clear where will you stay. Submit the address you will stay in. Number 13 is the consent of the parents or legal guardians if you are under 18 years old. Submit a letter signed by both parents that they agree to your studies in Ireland. Copies of parents, passports and national identity card are also required. Number 14 is the translation. If you submit a document that is not in English or Irish, you must submit the full translation. These factors are necessary for the translation. 1. Confirmation from the translator that it is an accurate translation of the original document. 2. The date of the translation. 3. The translator's full name and signature. And number 4. The translator's contact details. The list of the documents ends here. You would better have a copy of the documents you submit. You'll get none of them back except the original ones. If there are some documents you want back, prepare a list and submit it to the embassy. Do not submit false or misleading information or documents. Your application will get rejected or you might be banned from getting an Irish visa for five years. You also need to submit your biometrics to the officials. VFS Global is the responsible center or the Irish embassy. Find it out and visit them in person to take your fingerprints and digital photo. Remember, when you arrive in Ireland, your fingerprints will be taken again to ensure the same person is entering the country. Look at the summary application form again. Who is responsible for visa processing in your home country? Irish Embassy? the consulate or a visa center. Schedule a meeting with them, get there in person and bring all the gathered documents. You also have to pay the fee for visa processing. It's up to the country you live in and the embassy services. The embassy processes application in date's order. You can expect a decision within eight weeks from the date on which you submit your application. Your application may take longer, one, if you have not submitted all necessary documents. 2. If the embassy needs to verify your supporting documents. 3. Because of your personal conditions. For example, you have a criminal record. In the end, the embassy will inform you of the decision. Receiving a visa doesn't guarantee entering Ireland. When you arrive in Ireland, you have to go through border control. The authorities will determine whether you are eligible to enter Ireland or not. The immigration officers will ask you questions and evaluate your eligibility. Remember, they have the right and permission to deny your entrance. So, give true answers to their questions and be honest. When the authorities at the border control permit your entrance, they will stamp your passport. It will state the legal length of your stay in the country. Alright then, this was all that you should know about Ireland student visa application. Before you leave, ensure to like this video. Do you remember that I had a bonus for you at the beginning of this video? Download the free PDF file on Ireland student visa application from the link in the description. It's useful along the application process. Do you have questions? Write all of them in the comments section. The visa library team will get to them right away. Stay tuned for more videos and updates. Thank you all for watching.